think it's time that we finish this also. Hui 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 hui. Top of the morning to you ladies. This is the OG from OOO Gaming. And today I am back again with some more around the clock at Bikini Bottom. Now I've been focusing on some other games, so it's been a lot of time since I last hopped into this, so yeah. Let's get back in. And I forgot which level I was on. Ah yes, it was the jellyfish fields, of course. So... Yeah, I don't think I ever beat this. Locating the unironic type of activity for the jellians, Patrick unknowingly volunteers for what may be the most strenuous run for his life. Upon arriving, he discovers that Spongebob's old friend has been converted into a mighty blue jellion. Becoming strong enough to dethrone King Jellyfish, Prince Jellion took the crown and now commands Jellion hordes to invade nearby towns. The only way to disperse the Jellions are to hit them where it hurts. Right in the shower pipe. That's a euphemism. I know it. I know that for certain. Potty says Nestles are just as quiet as their power brethren. So listen for their burrowing while they're on the move. Okay. So, Prince Jellion is showering. Just as you expect. And he sees Patrick. We're off to a great start, boys. Can I skip any of this at all? I guess I couldn't. Oh, yeah. No! I read the text, by the way, so I didn't just ignore all that. Oh yeah, we go through here. So we just watch out for the jellyfish. Just like before. Oh gosh! No, 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 no. Curse you, jellyfish. Okay, go. Go, go. Fine, zap me. But at least Prince Joey won't be back. Actually, no, what's up here? Jeez, the physics are a little weird. So, what's over here again? Oh, yeah, that's how we get the Goofy Goober token. I'm a Goofy Goober! I remember. Oh, you stupid. Bruh. Did he really have to... I was about to say, did he really have to curse at me like that? Oh gosh, one of the jellians, or the jellyfish is here already. Deep fries it so bad that it, you're burnt to a crisp. I wonder if I can go... Ooh, I can. Okay, that's cool. I should do that. Oh my god, the physics! Oh, I can jump here. That's convenient. Oh, you stupid. Sheesh, whatever, man. Wait, are they sink? They are, that's what the sound was. I should have known that. So now we got these big blowers. They blow hard if you know what I mean. Sorry, children. Oh gosh, the timer. I forgot. And Prince Jellion is on our butts. Okay. Don't notice me. This is the opposite of what I want. Okay, I'm gonna go up here. See ya, ball. Oh gosh, Prince Joey is very close. And one of these things is coming at me. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh, that blinded the heck out of me. What, another one? No. Hey, no. Oh, that was close. Go, go, go. Oh, 
Oh gosh, that thing's there. That prowler. Nope. Oh, come on. Oh, that was close. Oh gosh, gosh, not you. Why are you here? Why are you here also? Why is it always those little darts that come at me? Making good progress, boys. This is actually going pretty well. Okay, how many jellyfish are here? Oh my gosh, that is a whole crowd. Ooh, golden spatula, give it to me. Let's go. Come on, quick. Put it in, put it in, in. Let's go. And I got all the jellyfish on my ass. Then I jump off. <laughs> oh man, that was too close. Yeah, no shit, Pat. God damn. No, man. Hmm. I wish I kept that mayo. I'm starving. <coughs> For goodness sake, man. You should have eaten beforehand. And Prince Joey is a bit pissed that Patrick got away. And he's like, eh, whatever. Time for me to take my sh shower. Yeah, shower. He enjoys it, and then... He realizes that it's for Mayo, and... Yeah. He done you fucked, fucked up. up. And now we roll back to Patrick. Falling. <gasps> what do I hear boss music? And we have the cow jellyfish. With the jellyfish B. And honestly, I hated this part when I first played it. Like, if it wasn't for that dumb jellyfish B, then... Then we would have been done already, and that jellyfish cow wouldn't have went after us. That's the thing that pissed me off the most about this level. Ooh. Oh, oh gosh, that's not what I meant to do. Oh gosh, I forgot it shoots. Help me, man. Oh gosh, it's ramming. It's ramen. Okay. All right, got him. Nice. And it's going on a rampage. A stampeding rampage. Ow! That jump was way off. What was its name? Betty or Betsy? What? Okay, that's a bunch of baloney. Now it's going on a bigger rampage. And these things are on my tail. I think those are bees. Tiny jellyfish bees or something. But, yeah. Oh, no. I, I could have gotten her. No. No, not another stampede rampage. <gasps> okay, that almost got me. Now that I think about it, it's actually not too bad. Yeah. This level was actually easier than I thought. So, yeah. Betsy goes on a very big stampeding rampage. That thing falls. Crushing Betsy. Patrick, where have you been? We were waiting for you at the Rendezvous. Rendezvous? What is it? At the point how Squidward decided to. Come looking for you. It wasn't because I was worried or anything. Regardless, we need you to hurry up and head back to the Krusty Krab. SpongeBob's waiting for us. I don't know what voices to give both of them, like... Like, both their voices sound so similar, and ooh, I got an S rank. I don't know how I did that, but... Because I collected these two, and I did this in time. And I got the good noodle, of course, so... And it makes sense for me to get this. Level up, level up, level up, uh huh. So now we're on to the next level, which is, um, Gooagoon. I remember now. Save. Gooagoon, let's go. So we'll play as Squidward and the uh, difficulty is average. 
when I first played this, there was a slight bug there that made my gameplay very difficult when I first started this, so that's all I got. As the daylight breaches the sea floor, and without a second in command, the Jellians are in a state of panic. Patrick, Squidward, and Mr. Krabs are driving back to the Krusty Krab, satisfied from a recent clone wipeout. For once, everything is fine, and they have the upper hand against the invasion. Really, there's nothing else to it. You made it this far. Why not stretch out, grab a bag of peanuts, or some sort of snack? Um, because I don't eat snacks? I'm not gonna read what Potty says this time. Yeah, this, this, this man right here is weak. He ain't ish to me. I'm gonna beat him. He's nothing. <laughs> Dead ass. Oh, there's Larry. All injured. Yikes. I forgot he, get, he got ran over. What? Out of gas? Mr. Squidward? What, what, Mr. Krabs? You better have an explanation for this. Why would I mess with the gas, you barnacle head? Wise! Don't worry, Mr. Krabs. At least I made sure the mail was safe. Huh? Yup. I found a convenient little cubby to store it, just like you asked me to. And I'm sure you can guess where that was. There was gasoline in there, so I had to suck some of it up to make room for the mail. Okay. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Patrick kind of had it coming, so I'm not as bothered about it. Well, this is just great. Of course, there's always more clones we need to deal with. Even if I'm disguised, that baboon brain bodyguard won't let me in with the mail and my tentacles. I'll need to find another way inside, I guess. Speaking of which, Juniors may have some mayo if I'm lucky enough. So that's our quest right now. You just get in some mayo. At least that's what it seems like. Ah, uh, hello? Greetings, sir. Alright. Um, right. Does your manager have any spare mayo we can borrow? Firstly, sir, I am the manager. For the record, even if we're close for the day to the an apocalypse, we'll make you think. I should take orders from you, Weenie. What the? Hey! Goodbye, Weenie. Fish face. I'm gonna have to find a way into this place, too. Yeah. And this restaurant? I'm not going near that simpleton. No way, no how. Yeah, it's probably best if we don't. Go scout on those establishments, Mr. Squidward. I need to finish... Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot. We go through the vent. Huh? How am I supposed to pry this open? So that's one thing investigated. Now around here, there's another vent that I think we can go through. Hmm, how am I gonna get this open? Yeah, that completes that task. Now, we ask Mr. Krabs, who is far away for some reason. What is he doing? Ahoy, Mr. Squidward. Sorry for yelling at you earlier. Okay. Hmm, whatever. I found a potential solution to our problems. Yep. Does one of them fall under the pink and stupid category? Nope, this one doesn't involve Patrick this time. Huh? I'm afraid not. I need to get into those restaurants over there. Any ideas? Oh yeah. Well, a trusty screwdriver never hurt anyone in times of criminal activity. Yeah, exactly. You can just unscrew the vent and then you can go in there. You're good to go. Alrighty. You know, except the cops. If things went south. All right. Right. Anyway, where in the world am I going to find a screwdriver? <laughs> hmm. Might be worth looking in that sandcastle over there. Those jellyfish, ah. jellyans. Oh yeah. Those jellyans are taking their cocoons there, and one of the poor lads looked like a <laughs> member of the maintenance crew. <laughs> Fantastic. So yeah, now we're going to have to go on this long journey to the sandcastle just to look for a screwdriver. Look at those clams go. How about that? Wow, look at them go. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. My channel revolves around randomness. I can't believe I've only been recording for about 18 minutes. It felt like half an hour. Okay, and now we're on our mission. For Excalibur, find a screwdriver, then return to the restaurant. So that's what we do. And... What's... Oh my oh. god. This is water. Could have made it more obvious, sir. Or madam, or both, or green. Dave, was it? I'm sorry, Dave, but I like to speak to your manager. 
you have to admit, pinkies are some pesky troublemakers, immobilizing you, making you an easy pick for nearby dangerous foes. But can you keep a secret? Those very annoyances come in handy when the surrounding area's energy supply is low. I see, so that's what we do. So all we have to do is dig one of them patches up. Okay, that's close. That's close. Ever heard of social distancing? Ma'am. Okay, get me. There. Generator's on. And I think we do the same here. Let's go. Let's go. Just do this one, dang it. And I have to go all the way around? Actually, that route wasn't too long. Whatever. So, aim. Alright, got that down. So, is this guy gonna be on my tail? Okay, not the whole time. Good. <laughs> Excuse me. So, we got a pebble. I don't know what to do with it. Oh, I know what to do, actually. Throw it. That opened something. I think it was here? What's this? Oh, my God. Oh, gosh. It's a big grass patch here. I don't know what this is about. And that thing still- It can still see me, what the- Is there Baba some kind boy. of hidden- <gasps> I am not getting zapped by you. No, sir. No, no, wait. Do it. Do it. Do it. No, no. I did. <laughs> I lost that red jelly in. Perfect. Wait, don't tell me there's a- Don't tell me there was a generator over there. Um, what am I supposed to do now? This thing didn't open. The heck? Am I missing something? I'm definitely missing something because that thing is not open. Did this activate? Okay, it did not. Well, no wonder that didn't work. What the heck? Okay, why? No, 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 no. Okay, this opened. So now I can go through. Come through. Just us two. Hmm. So I need the jellyfish again. What a coincidence. Alright. Okay. Checkpoint. So we have another generator right here. And oh gosh, we have that guy. That's not what I wanted. Actually, what do I even do? I'm guessing I just divert their attention. Okay, okay, they they saw me. They saw me. <coughs> Let's see if you can handle this. Oh. Go. Okay, they saw me. Okay, this guy's fast. This guy's too fast. Too fast. Too fast. Oh, I can stun them. So I grab a pebble. And I sneak past all you bitches. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What? That did nothing. What? Okay, I'm not really digging this level at all. Okay, I'm gonna try to sneak past you. Let's go. That did nothing. Run, 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 run. <laughs> I'm guessing I have to lure these guys away. They did not see me. They didn't see me. They didn't see me. They didn't see me. They saw me. They saw me. No. Nope. So I think what I'm really supposed to do is just divert their attention. Let's try that. <gasps> oh gosh, that that did not go as planned. Now it's been 31 minutes, and this feels pretty long. Wait, did he see me? He didn't see me. He didn't see me. Yeah, I don't think he saw me. Oh. Ah, uh, I see, I see. I see what I did there. Yeah, I don't remember exactly what I did when I first started. Maybe that's what I did? Maybe something different? I don't remember. But I pulled it off. Nicely. Huh. <laughs> Look at these imbeciles. They don't even know that I snuck past them. Alright, let's go. What's here? Oh my goodness. That's a lot of burrowing or digging that we have to do. So we're looking for a jellyfish. 
Nope. That's what we're doing right now. Nope. What the? Well, I found a button. I don't know if that's what I was supposed to do. Let's see if I need to... Let's see if I get anything else. Okay, I just dug up all the things and... Yeah, there's nothing else there. I know what I have to do right here, so I have to lure each of these monsters to their corresponding place. So I do this. Alright, yes. Follow me to here, sir. Alright, that one's good. So, who should be over here? Red. Okay. What happens if I get close? Oh, nothing. But if I were to cold cock him and then get very close, I'd be fubbernucked. Okay, I'm guessing I need to lure blue next. Actually, wait. Wait, do I have to get both of them? Oh, heck no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, heck no. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, no. Nah. Oh, no. This is gonna be difficult. Okay, this... I... I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up. Okay, good. I didn't fuck up yet. Back to your place. And I think that opens this part up. Yes, it did. Let's go. Checkpoint City, baby. It's a beautiful city. As a man once said. Checkpoint hype! What are you? Oh gosh! Okay, I'm gonna go this way. That's a shit ton of cocoons here, man. Oh, screwdriver. So we pull it out like the... Like the Excalibur. Or the sword from Legend of Zelda, whatever. I don't know. And we got the screwdriver. Thank goodness I don't need to... Alright. Back to Weenie Hut Jr. Mr. Krabs still seems angry at me. What did I do wrong, Squidward? You were an idiot. That's what you did wrong. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna have to be careful there. Uh-oh. Oh, found mayo. Uh oh. No intruder identified. Okay, the guy. Vermin scan activated. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. No intruder identified. All right, perfect. Snug past that bee. Okay, I did a lot better than the first time. The first time I played it, I got jump scared a lot. So now we break in here also. Alright, let's go. Also, I gotta say, this bar looks pretty cool. Looks like I won't be getting in there without a proper disguise. Hmm. Maybe I can find one upstairs. And conveniently, there is one for him. So we have to sneak past this guy. Oh my gosh. I thought it was easier. So I have to stay crouched like this. Alright, let's go. Oh no. Okay. Go. Let's go. Oh. Go. 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 Alright. Now he's gonna face this way. And then... Go. Alright. I got my disguise. There we go. Now that I look like one of the staff, I should be able to enter the kitchen. Alright. Let's go. Hello there. Nope. Good night. I find it funny that the customers don't even think much about me. Alright, this time... Well, let's act normal. We're not gonna touch the angler at all. So... We have this bear here. And this guy is looking at me weird. So 
So I'm gonna try to find a sombrero for the guy. And I think if I do that now, I'll get the Goofy Goober token. Here you go, sir. And I got the Goofy Goober token. So this guy is suspicious of me, but he can't really do much about it. So... Oh yeah, I put the mail in there. And then I just try to leave. That bro outside would snatch me up, so I should head back to the vent and leave through there. Okay. But then this guy shows up. Huh. Oh yeah, his crime was like killing all the other Squidwards. And... Yeah, this guy burns the whole place up. And he's after me. Hopefully this level doesn't glitch. Okay, this time I can see the guy. Because when I first played this, he was invisible. Uh oh. Whoa. This is way easier now because whenever he does that, it would be difficult for me to know where he's at. And the only way I could judge where he's at is just by listening. No, 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 no. Oh. That scared me still. Oh yeah, I just... I just remembered which way I... I go. And... No! So I forgot I'm supposed to lift that heavy... Alright, let's go. Lift! Okay. We're good. We're good. Let's go. We made it out. So we got the gasoline now. Alright, the boat's filled up. Now floor it. And this guy comes after us. Or not. And we're good. I'll take a B. It's a fair grade. Now what's next after this? Um. Oh gosh, Sandy Stray Dome. If you play this game, then you know how terrible it is. Like, this is the worst level in the game ever. It's my least favorite one, also, and a bunch of other YouTubers' least favorite ones. So, without the prince to command Jellyan hordes to attack residents, the Jellyan's influence decreases. The gang's taking this as an opportunity to locate the Overlord's nest but they'll need all the help they can get. While Squidward and Mr. Krabs visit a grieving Karen, SpongeBob and Patrick pay a visit to Sandy in hopes her technological prowess can save the day once again. Unfortunately for them, it's hibernating season. So yeah, Sandy won't be able to help us in this at all. Wow, her tree dome is really blocked off. I forgot that it was like that. Well, it looks like Sandy's hibernating again. That means she made it out, okay? Why didn't we check on her sooner? No. Because Mr. Krabs would fire us. Good one, buddy. You don't work for Mr. Krabs right now. <laughs> That's what I said. I don't want to lose my job. <laughs> right. Well, let's head back so we can find the cause of all this chaos. What? Oh no. The lock froze. <laughs> Oh good, I made sure to practice my craft this time. What? Open sesame? Uh, please? Patrick, that ain't gonna work. No! Well, what a waste of a fantasy book. Yeah, Patrick is very stupid. Which is no surprise. Oh no! Fish face. Well, maybe we can find something to help us out. Mm. Otherwise, we're stuck here. Not only until spring, but until bikini bottoms and shambles. So, we go in there to check on Sandy. But then, as we try to leave, the lock froze. So, we go in the tree. Wait, Patrick. Remember the last time we were noisy? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. She tore us to shreds. Um, yeah. That's not something to smile at, buddy. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. Oh, so, yeah. Brother! 
We shouldn't run around up there. If she wakes up. Okay. Then I'll tell her you're dirty Dan. What the fuck? No running. Don't wake me up or out. So we have to walk very slowly. But we can run in, run in this area. Okay. So say, Patrick, look. Sandy was building a flamethrower. Oh, yeah. You reckon we could build it, Spongebob? That's right. Sure. Let's start with the hairdryer. She's got to have one around here somewhere. So, we look for that, and it's very easy to find. I really want to run in this house. It's very tempting, but Sandy's gonna whoop ass if she- if I were to do that. And I beat her ass! So, we go in her bedroom to just unfreeze it. Man, Sandy looks very big in there. The heck? Why does she have to be so big? It makes no sense. So, we have the hairdryer. That's good. And there. That's one piece down. Oh, yeah. There are only seven more to go, right? Yep. That's a lot of pieces. Barnacles, that's right. I didn't see any other pieces in here, so they must be outside. Okay, let's build this flamethrower. So, as you saw earlier, one of the inventions comes to life. And is after us. The reason I hate this level is because for all the parts, we have to unfreeze them by going to Sandy's bedroom with this little robot on our tail. And that's something I'm not a huge fan of. Ah, there's the horn. And I don't remember when that robot starts to show up. But, um, yeah, we have to be very careful. So there's that part. Gosh, this ominous music makes me so nervous. Like, just having this while the guy's on your tail. There he is. Because if he sounds his alarm, or if we get close to him, Sandy's gonna whoop ass. I actually don't know where he is. That makes me nervous. Go! I don't think a robot is in this house right now. He is! No, 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 no. This way. No. No, 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 no. Okay, there's that part. There is a checkpoint, but there's only one. Like, why, Dave? Why'd you make this a level? Why does it have to be so complicated? Yeah, this thing. Gosh, that robot better not be up here already. Okay, the robot's there. Well, at least there's gonna be a checkpoint. Please. Give us the checkpoint. Let's go. We dipping. We dipping. We dipping, boys. All right, where the heck are the other parts at? So now the guy's gonna be very aggressive. He's gonna pop out of snowburrows, all that. And we have to avoid these sticks. Otherwise, Sandy will be... Be her ass. Yeah, like that. Where's the part? Let's go. We got a rod. Go. Gosh, this is nerve-wracking. He blocked it. He blocked it off. So we, we can only go through that way. Alright, where's the robot? Okay, the robot's over there. Come through. Just us two. Sorry, children. I really don't like this level. I'm sorry, but I'm not a fan of it. But, um, I guess as long as you know what to do, then you're good. And the robot's over there. Where's the robot? I'm nervous. I'm very nervous. <gasps> He's there. He's burrowing. You've got to be kidding me. No, 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 no. So I think the robot always comes out of there. I think. Let's grab this pipe. And the robot's there, so we have to be very careful so that he's still close to us. But at the same time, he does not catch our ass. This way, buddy. This way. He's burrowing! Go! Okay, we're good. I forgot that part's blocked off. Okay, so as long as we keep our eyes on the robots and keep our distance, like COVID, we're good to go. Alright, where's the robot? 
I need to keep my eye on the robot. Slowly and steady wins the race. Man, that thing is watching us like a- <gasps> He's burrowing! No, no way. No, 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 no. You can't do that. That illegal, man. That's cheating. You can't do none of that. <gasps> Why? Why'd you have to go through there, man? Actually, is this even a good place to try to go around the guy? This is not good. This... Oh, maybe this is actually great. All right, that's the hose. Wait. Oh my gosh, that part's blocked off. No way, no way, that's dirty. You are dirty, the people who made this game are dirty girls. You are playing dirty, man. That's dirty. He slid a bookshelf over there, so we can't- Okay, that's a bit close. Sir, sir, you're moving a bit too close there. Sir, sir. Okay, that's a good distance, actually. <gasps> the sign was blocking us. Where's the robot? You're gonna have to move, Pat. Okay. Actually, I'm not gonna risk that. That's that's a huge risk I'm doing. Let's go this way. Okay, what? You've gotta be kidding. Ain't no way. What? No, no, Sandy, 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 please, please, no, 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 no. Great! Alright, so there's one part up front, not that front. I meant this front. So where are the other parts at? There's one here in this corner, and there's another part around here. That's the hose. Fucking monster with a tech boy ain't for your neck. Had your brother mother wet cause she no Now where's that last one? Okay, that scared me. So I know where all the parts are, except for that last one. I don't know where that one is. Like I said, this is the worst level in this game. And this is the last the second to last level. Oh he's there already. The robot's there. I wonder where that last part is at. There's our six parts. Social distance. Like COVID. Alright, it's you and me now, robot. Let's go. I'm already like Luigi. I'm alright. Nope. I wonder how one would even get a goofy goober token. If I remember correctly, the second part is in this corner. Somewhere around here. We got this other rod. The robot just went through the bathroom, I think. I think the robot probably just had some business to do. Do robots even have business? Hey, the robots have dicks? Excuse me? Hey! Please do not ask ridiculous questions! That's that part down. Now there's only one more. And I think it's that orange one. Now that I think about it, this level isn't too bad. Like, once you understand the strategy for it, then, um... You're good to go. My guess is that the part- that the final part's around here. Or, or is it something big and white, like that tank that has the gas? Is that what the final part is? Oh, there it is! Let's go, we got it. <gasps> oh my god, are you serious? Nope, 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 nope. And I just got that last part. So, I think that part only shows up until the last minute. Oh my gosh, this is irritating. Can we sneak by as he goes through the window? Oh, we can. Just you and me, bro. Now that I think about it, what's stopping me from just running to get the part? Yeah. Okay, he's burrowing now. Shoot, shoot. I'm guessing that bonk sound is the sound of the robot going through the event. Maybe in the bathroom? I don't know exactly where, but I think that's where he was at. Alright, robot. Let's go. All we need is that gas can. That is literally it. Wait. It's there! There it is. Okay, this guy doesn't burrow right now. That's good. Wait! Oh my- Hmm. Oh my gosh. 
That was terrifying. By the way, I got a secret when I was just messing with that one poster next to that fridge in the kitchen, but um, I didn't record it because I just, I just didn't. didn't. Keep burrowing. He be burrowing. He be going. He be going. He be running. He be fine. He be going. He be going. He be running. He be dead. I'm gonna beat this level. I just know I'm gonna do that. And now this part's blocked. Great. Okay, you wanna go this way? That's fine. Oh yeah, the hose is... It's over there, isn't it? I think that's where it's at. Okay, this dude probably burrowed by now. Let's go. Now it's just that last item that we need. The... What was it? Gasoline? I think that's what it is. So for this one... It's right around here. Ah shoot, it's not there. It's right here. Everything should be A-OK. -okay. Alright, we got that. Let's go- What? Okay. We're good. We're good. That was a close call, but we're good. Alright, we have the whole flamethrower set up. And now, we just need to dodge this guy. It's not that hard, really. This last part. Although some YouTubers have just you fucked, fucked it up. up. We just go very slowly. And then, dash the heck out of here. Alright, let's go. Let's go. And that's how we beat it. Man, that one was stressful. What? Drat, this lock is still frozen. And then, no surprise. Particles. <laughs> this is taking too long. I want the more now. So, yeah, as 8-Bit Ryan once said. So we could have done that from the get-go! So that means that part was unnecessary. Alright, and on to the final chapter, which is this thing at 9am. I'm pretty sure that's the last chapter. And this is as far as I got up to when I played this. So yeah. I really struggled on this level a whole lot, so I'm gonna try to beat this again. This is it. Do you wish to proceed? Heck yeah, I do. Yeah, I ain't giving up like that. Body says that. Man, I've been reading way too much in this video. It's tiring me out at this point. Dang, they just barged right in. Where's Sandy? She. Hibernation. Phew. Yep. I. Mr. Squidward. Can you explain Karen's gizmo? Huh. Supposedly, this can fire large quantities of jelly and goo. Huh. Meaning? Huh. We can find the big one. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. Go, go, drink some water. Go, go, drink some water. Plankton's wife agreed to aid us under the condition that we bring that shrimp back alive. <laughs> Why don't you give him a proper demonstration? <laughs> sure, I guess. <laughs> huh? Is this thing busted? <laughs> of course not. Let me see. And it says there's a <laughs> red dot there. <laughs> I, 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 don't be silly, Mr. Squidward. Yep. It just simply means the source of our problem's been right here <laughs> under our noses. <laughs> Uh -oh. Or, uh, above us. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh, I didn't even have time to read that. So, we have to deal with that big jelly f jelly and whatever. At least those three survived. So, now we got a cluster of jelly to deal with. Oh, what the heck? They literally took our skyrocketed up into the air. What the heck? Yo, this is nuts. Dang. Oh, that does it. 
Oh. Oh, what? He switched to a cannon, what the heck? Man, that scorcher me, boy. Roast those blasted tentacles. I've got your poop deck. All right, you outgrown patty topping. I don't know what cesspool you scurried out of. Hey, you cockswagon. Hey, you cockswain. It's one thing to ruin me livelihood, but you're dancing with catch for me, daughter's disappearance. Come have a taste of some hard-boiled crab, you bow rats. All right, so we play as Mr. Krabs now, and we're just trying to shoot all the jellions away, and I have a hard time doing that. I don't remember what made this level so hard, since I'm doing so well at this. I'm just beasting through all this. Alright, got him. Actually, this isn't too bad, but I shouldn't jinx it, because of wave 2. Oh gosh, what are you? Why? Nope, 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 nope. Oh gosh. Okay, this is starting to get difficult. Nope, nope, nope. Oh gosh. Is that what? Okay, this is what made it difficult. There's a cooldown for this cannon. Okay, yeah. Now I remember what made this level so hard. I read the text for the game over screen, so hopefully that helps. Maybe. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hello there. Alright, stop shooting at me, dang it. Alright. Alright, let's go. Alright. So they're coming out in groups and I just dealt with- okay. Alright, that's close. Alright. Oh! I didn't even see that dude. And we saw him at the last minute. Oh my goodness. These guys are getting... Oh my gosh, you... One of those boxing jellions got me. No shit, I'm dead! Yeah, this one is kind of difficult. Actually, I take it back. It's very difficult. Oh, I start from wave three this time. Nice. Okay. Oh, it doesn't drain my health. Okay, that's good. Oh, God. What in the fuck? I didn't know there would be a fourth wave. What the heck? No one told me about this. I didn't sign up to deal with that. Ow.
definitely need to take care of those stinging jellians. I do not like this chapter. Nope, 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 nope. Still holding strong, I think. Why... Why wasn't it shooting anymore? I don't think that bar was up at the time. What the heck? This is a bunch of bullshit. That's all I got. So, it seems like... Okay, these guys are here also. What the fudge? Starting to learn how to prioritize the things to deal with. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, I'm starting to understand how to deal with them. I'm starting to learn how to prioritize. I'm prioritizing those... The ones that are covered in goo for... What's happening? Oh! What the? What? Oh gosh, you! No, no! Don't! Oh, okay, stop! Okay, I'm starting to lose lives. You've got to be kidding. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to prioritize some more. I'm on wave three again. Okay. Turned out a greater disaster. Okay. I'm pretty sure I shot. I just realized that this thing can only shoot two cannonballs at a time. That's BS. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I thought, hey fellers, this is the feature OG who's editing it right now. So recently, I got this nice audio interface, which is a Scarlet Solo. So far, it's been pretty crisp. It's been giving me nice audio quality, so hopefully this will help improve my quality of my videos. So yeah, that's all I got. Take it away, past OG. Alright, fellas. Let's go! I just realized that holding the mouse is what increases the bar, not clicking. Okay, I'm getting pretty bored now, so let's just dive right into the fails. Why couldn't I shoot? This is a bunch of baloney. Yeah, that's... I don't fully get this cannon. This is... this is what I really don't like. I'm pretty sure I got that one. going on now. I guess this 
this part of the chapter or level isn't as hard as I thought it would be, but still. Oh, wow. Man. Gosh dang. I never watched that cutscene, so every reaction up to this point is genuine. Like, gosh dang, the Crunchy Crab just landed and then it just broke into a bunch of pieces. This isn't the first time the Krusty Krab's been blown to pieces, but... Well, I can't help but feel bad for Eugene right about now. Speaking of which, where is he? Um, right behind you, dumbass. dumbass. <laughs> what is going on? What's about to happen? <laughs> Bro, he just yeets them out. Oh, no, no, no. This is a women capacity bus, boys. I'm not doing with another freak accident with these two idiots. Here, let me relieve you of your duties then. <laughs> he just eats the dude out. See Weasel. Oh my gosh, that is so hilarious. Eugene, the road. The road, slow down. And there's no road. So, they crash and burn. Dang, Mr. Krabs still has that mail gun. Gosh dang. Ow, my aching tentacles. Dang, they really landed. When you're ready, talk to Mr. Krabs to approach the museum. So... Uh, R... Zero... C... K... Bo... Bo... Uh, yeah, he's a dumbass. Oh yeah, I play as Squidward now. So, um, where's Spongebob at? Actually, you know what? It doesn't matter. I'm just gonna go Mr. Krabs. Alright, I think it's time to go after that thing. Eugene? Do you still have that camera, Mr. Squidward? Huh. Yeah, pretty sure Patrick. Oh yeah. I need you to use it. Okay. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> I think that was a tentacle. Yep. Hey, she's no clone, just a wreck taking advantage of the plight. Alrighty. This weapon won't protect us, but that camera. Ow. Oh. Oh no. Alrighty. Yep, good luck, Mr. Squidward. Our lives are in your hands. So do I play as Squidward now? The lights just turned off for that building. How convenient. Oh. Listen for rumbling sands, then flash the clam cam at the source to scare it off. So I guess I was a bit slow. am I supposed to do this? I didn't hear any sand. I flashed it. Maybe I'm supposed to flash the camera and then move closer to it? I don't get what I'm supposed to do. closer to it and then flash. Oh my gosh. Well, at least it wasn't the clams that got me. Oh boy. Oh man, this is gonna be long. I can't handle this. Okay, got that one. The heck is that sound? Got that. Okay, now I'm starting to understand the mechanics. What the heck is this parasitic worm or whatever that thing is? Ha! Got that clam. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. So that's the parasitic worm. <gasps> what the f- I think we're good now. Okay, there we go. 
I'm glad I didn't stop recording. I was about to because I've been recording for 50 dang minutes. Watch our aft, Squidward. Alright. And that's when we head out. And... Oh my, that's a lot of cocoons. What's going on, Mr. Krabs? What? Why is Squidward there? Isn't he supposed to protect the thing? Whatever, it's fine. Video game logic, I guess. Did anyone think this far? Uh, I sure did. And that's not getting it at all. I guess we have to aim... Alright, does anyone else have any ideas? Yep. Wait, Jellyfish reacted music cells. <laughs> They're gonna sing? Phew, looks like they made it safe and sound. Spongebob. It's gonna be okay, Pat. <laughs> but, what if... if you... I'll be fine on my own. I promise I won't let them get me. And whatever's on your mind, it'll be okay. You can trust your best friend, right? I mean, you should, I guess. <laughs> okay, Spongebob. I trust you. Yeah. I'll feel awful if I never get the chance to appear... <laughs> What just happened? Did Patrick get whipped by that jellyfish? Oh. He got launched through a wall. Oh, the guitar. Oh, hey, a guitar. SpongeBob needed one for that plan of his. Okay, I see. Yeah. Oh, gosh, not you again. Finally, after hours of running after you, I'm here at last. You thought you could best me. I was merely out of my prime. At this moment, however, I'm gonna get that promotion. How about the... Oh. <laughs> Look at Patrick's eyes. Kinda looks like this snake. You know, I think Mom's calling me for breakfast. Was a nice chat. See you around. Oh, shoot. What is this guy gonna do now? Oh. About time. Uh, do I know you? No, but I'm well aware of your identity. To be honest, I figured you wouldn't be this idiotic. You all delivered yourselves to my client. All I have to do is kill you. Oh gosh. My, that was drawn out of proportion. Oh my goodness. Ah, uh, it's the evil doodle again. Evil? Nonsense, my good man. We're here to deliver piping hot justice. What I do? I never thought you'd ask. Play me a somber tune, Bob. What's happening? Allow me to recount the tale from Bob's perspective, if I may. After you reclaimed the Dutchman's ship and thwarted my peaceful negotiations, I bought Bob enough time to craft a space vessel that make him straight to the moon. Of course, your blasted doodle creation, Doodle Pants, insisted on tailing him. A chase through the colonized planet later, and the battle commenced between Pants and Bob. Even when absorbed by Scribbles, he was not able to best Pants. When they had him pinned, they changed him. Bob agreed to make peace with you sea creatures in exchange for Pants. For years, Doodles peacefully survived on the moon. That is, until disaster struck. A freak accident occurred wiping out the populace. Bob survived, thankfully, but Pants was nowhere to be found. When Bob returned to our dimension, we came to a common agreement. You need Neanderthals? You Neanderthals caused our downfall. Many months of preparation were cut short when we were transported into your dimension. Admittedly, we had to improvise. Attempting to murder your friend isn't as easy as it looks. However, the convenience of this invasion was a perfect chance to prepare. We've taken the very essence of the clones right under your noses. That brings us to this scenario, old chum. 
To prevent further failure, we need to erase you. All of you. I could give you a sporting chance to run away if you like. <laughs> That's kind of me right now. Because I don't understand what Doodle Patrick said. Don't white bother. <laughs> Anyhow, let's expedite the process. Oh, Doodle Bob is defending Patrick. Bob, my boy. I can't quite reach him. Mind moving over? You beat a wire. Oh my. Oh my. My, my. Bob, why are you defending these heathens? They're responsible for our kind segregation. Why, they're the cause for your internal agony for pants. A sick, twisted joke it is. To make you a friend only to annihilate him later. Despicable. Come, Bob. Let's return the favor to that sponge. Starting with that drooling monkey. Patrick, friend, you not. I understand, Bob. You've been overwhelmed emotionally. That monologue. Your piano playing. I know it's a bit much. I'll show you to the bench. Oh, dang. Dang, you just erase your friend like that? If you have such attachment, I won't let you watch what happens next. You'll be summoned soon, my friend. Dang, you still have the nerve to call that guy your friend after you erase him? You know, that wasn't easy, Patrick. Rest assured, this will take but a moment. Oh no. I am a sportsman, so my style of execution shall be... Fencing! On guard. Yeah, let's see how well you do with that pointy pencil of yours and your thin figure. <laughs> oh, it's on. You know when Patrick got the fist out, he's serious about it. Let's go into battle. So we're fighting duo Patrick, who looks too deep. Ow. I shouldn't have gone that close. I don't fully understand. Okay. Okay, what am I supposed to do? Look out for the vulnerability icon over an enemy's head. That's your chance to strike. Well, thanks, game. I already knew that. Okay, I blocked it. Okay, I get it now. So I just block all of his attacks if I can. Okay, that, that can't be blocked. Got it. So I have to be Hello, within a good range. Quick, quick. Ooh. No. Oh, gosh. Okay, this is a bit tough. Oh, my. Okay, okay, okay. Got him. Got him. Okay. Alright, go. Go. No, no, no. Okay. Punch. Get him. Get what? Okay, this is actually kind of difficult. Let's go! I noticed that he ends off with a swing. Okay, go! 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 Hey! Okay, go! Let's go! I just know this battle is going to be very long. Okay, go! Let's go! Okay. Okay. My guy, you are getting dumb. Yes! Let's go. I did it, man. What's so laborious about sharing the town? Why couldn't you have given us a chance? Uh, I know. You tried erasing my friend, Spongebob. I mean, yeah, that's fair. That's why we can't treat you with respect, Doodle Patrick. Who? Under the bridge, right? I apologize. Do you really now? Huh. Surely we can attempt some form of coexistence? Granted, I've tried killing you multiple times. Perhaps what I'm really seeking is compassion. Can you rewind your coexisting scribble, Rick? 
Honestly, I don't know. At this point, whatever p choice Patrick makes, I don't really care. <gasps> You're not trying to roll me into a false sense of pity, right? For once, Patrick is being pretty smart right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he actually cursed. At least you caught on to my ruse, but rather late, don't you think? <gasps> what about compassion? Friendship? <laughs> my only f- Ugh. My only friend abandoned me for a sketch you net- you Neanderthals conjured. Oh gosh. Who was there to console Bob as he sulked? Me. Who had to bear his bowels of agony over his dearly departed? Me. Who felt they had a duty to right the inevitable wrongs developed by you kelp for brains? Me. Please, do enlighten me. Aren't you the shining example of a good friend? If so, what kind of best friend ruins a collector's card? How about the time you left your friend in a ringer only to be ridiculed by society? <laughs> your temporary royalty really was a crowning achievement, huh? Oh, how could I forget the time where you gloated about your poorly earned license? Only to cause havoc in the town, mind you, with Spongebob becoming increasingly aggressive. Dare I say, you deserve a repossession on that waste of metal you call a ring. <laughs> wow, that's rude. You fool! <laughs> Ugh, what the heck? Bleh, great Barrier Reef! Oh, what is that? Listen buddy, I've got a few things to tell you. First off, my name's not... Rick. Secondly, I don't know what Frenchie told you, but you need to shut up. Go take that directory... Dictionary. Take that dictionary and give yourself a paper cut. Dang. But I made a paper. Shut up. And see, I know that at some point, I wasn't a friend to Spongebob. I was a bully, and now I'm a friend with many regrets. No amount of acceptance will relieve my guilt for the poor guy. Hmm. The last thing I need is for an idiot like you to hammer it in. Oh yeah. If there's one thing I hear a lot, it's that I'm some big dummy. Well, at least he Patrick knows it. it. I'd rather be stupid than a smarty pants like you so my life isn't a constant tragedy. Hmm. We're both alike, you know. Surely not. Hmm. We failed as best friends and no matter how hard we try, it just isn't good enough, is it? Well, he has self-awareness at least. I say, unlike you though, I would never lay a finger on Spongebob. What kind of friend are you if you don't trust each other? If there's no trust, what kind of friendship is that? This, this is an outrage. You can't erase me. Even if you muster the capability, I'll find a way to come back. I swear on it. I wouldn't make any more promises you can't keep, buddy. Dang, he's lighted the pencil on fire. So he's ready to burn your ass. That is fire? Under the ocean? How is that possible? Video game logic, dude. Read about it. Huh? Beats me. Now what was I gonna do again? Discuss our relationship over a spot of tea? He's not gonna fall for that. Huh. I thought you were quick to catch a ruse. Oh. Dang, he just shot the dude with the pencil on fire. You planned this, surely you must have. Uh, no, not really. Hmm, fair enough. <laughs> I like how Doodle Patrick was just like, eh, fair enough. And then he just keeps on running like a crazy lunatic. That was kind of funny. Oh, gosh. Oh, Squidward and Mr. Krabs were getting the speaker. And Spongebob was distracting the the giant jellion. What are you waiting for, boy? Throw that guitar over here. Okay, so Spongebob plays the guitar. And what happens now? I know this is not all there is to this battle. I know it isn't. Oh, 
Oh, wow. Look at that guitar. GG. I saw that GG. That's cool. Get ready. Oh, shoot. What's happening? I actually don't know what I'm, what I'm supposed to do for this. I really don't. Okay. Defeat the Overlord. SpongeBob spins supercharged by the power of rock. You can double jump by pressing the spacebar while in the air. Additionally, you're equipped with an electrifying guitar that shoots laser beams. Wait for the power meter to charge, then left click to fire a penetrating blast at any enemies who stand in your way. Are you ready? Let's rock and roll. Okay, let's go. Let's go, buddy. Oh my god. Oh gosh. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh heck no. You need to see a doctor about that, dude. Man, that's disgusting. Alright, I'm waiting for that thing to charge so I can penetrate the heck out of this dude. Let's go! Let's go! Got him! Hey. Uh oh! Oh no! Okay, okay! That was close. What's going on? Okay, okay, they're all landing on me. They're all heading towards me. Okay, the same thing is happening again. Oh gosh. I like how this spotlight's following me. I think that's pretty cool. Okay. What else you got? Okay, the same shit again. Don't you think this is getting repetitive, sir? Got him. Let's go. Alright. Let's keep doing it. Okay. Oh, double. Okay, this is new. Triple. Okay, that was that was kind of sick though. I like that move actually. Alright, now you're done throwing up. Okay, what's happening? Oh yeah, the beat. And I got a checkpoint. Nice. So now... His health bar is yellow. Alright, what's going on? What's happening? Again, with the vomiting? Don't you think this is getting repetitive, kind of? Okay. Okay, this is new. This is new. This is new. I take it back. Whoa. Okay. How do I know where those tentacles are gonna come out of? Oh. Okay. Oh. oh. It spins? What is this? I wasn't told about this. Okay, let's go. So that's where... That's supposed to be where his arms penetrate from, but... Doesn't seem to be the case right now! Okay, how was I supposed to know that would happen? Let's go! I got it! Okay. Alright. It's you and me still, sir. Okay. How the heck am I supposed to avoid that? Nope! That was close. Ooh. Yes. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. You I fu fucked up again. Okay. How do I avoid his tentacles or arms in the first phase? I don't get this. Okay, I think I just jumped for it. That's what I got, at least. Oh, whoa. Still, you're still going after me with that. I forgot this dude has like four arms or whatever. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Got him. Okay, I know I have one heart, but I'm really trying. What? What is going on? What the heck is this? No, 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 what are you doing? No, what are you doing? What are you doing? Stop! Hey, no! You can't do that. That's cheating, bro. What are these bear traps for anyway? Okay. All I have to do is get him. Square in the head. Got him. Uh, what's going on? What? Oh, gosh. He's spitting up dead jellyfish. Okay. At least I'm dodging that, so that part's not too bad. Okay, go! Got him. What? Wait, what's going on? I thought you were about to... What? 
The Overlord's projectiles are tricky to avoid. Keep moving and you'll be A-OK. -okay. okay, I have three health again. That's good. I find it creepy how his eyes look black right now. I think it's because his eyes are closed. Maybe that's why. Ooh, okay. Let's see. Oh. Oh, he's not bringing in more of his crusty crew or jellyfish crew, whatever, whatnot. Wait. Oh, God. Oh, no. That stunned me real bad. Stop. Stop. Oh, he's going in circles. That's what he's doing. I'm starting to understand the pattern. Yeah, I need to jump higher for those bolts of electricity or whatever that is. I just realized that he's going in circles. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of jellians that he collected. Ow! How did I not realize that he was going in circles? I thought he was just moving away from me on purpose. Go! He's stupid! <gasps> what? That's my first time missing. Now he's slowly moving. At least I think that's what he's doing right now. Oh, that was close. That jellyfish almost touched me. Let's go. I got him. All right. Let's go. Okay, okay. That's too close. That's too close, sir. That is way too close. Okay. Come on. Come on. Ooh, I got him. Okay, I think there's just one more hit and then I'm good to go. What's happening? What, what just happened? Okay, that is a bunch of bull. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Got him. So he lost his jellyfish crew, and now it's just me and him. Okay. 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 That is a bit much, don't you think? Oh. Go. Got him. Let's go. Finally. Okay, that didn't actually finish him off. Come on, SpongeBob. Get up. Oh, gosh. Squidward. Oh, dear Neptune, Eugene. SpongeBob's gonna die if we don't do something. I lube me up. W what? With mayo, you half wit. I want you to take the last of the mayo in this weapon and lather me. Uh, I can't do that, Eugene. Dang, so he's gonna sacrifice himself. Listen, we can think of something else. Surely, surely, me boy's gonna die if we don't try. But what makes you think you're gonna be able to stop that thing? Your mayo did nothing to it. I, its outer shell has become resilient to damage. But from the inside, it's as vulnerable as ever. Now loot me up. That is an order. Okay, okay, just stop calling it that. Dang, he's really looped up. One last thing, lad. Check up on Mr. Squarepants from time to time. And I relieve ye of duty. Time to do what I do best. SpongeBob, toss me that guitar or you're fired. Fired? I can't do. There's only so many times that I can do voice impressions. Dang. I feel... I feel kind of bad that Mr. Krabs had to go that way. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't really like him a lot. He wasn't my favorite character, but still. That sucks. 
But at the same time, he did defeat that Jellion, though. So that was good, at least. And now the museum's totaled. Oh, no. I mean, I already knew this was the case. I already knew this was- this happened. I already knew that this was gonna happen in the game, but still. It's kind of tragic that Mr. Krabs had to go out how he did. Dang. Ah, I feel kind of bad for those three. They just lost Mr. Krabs. Like, he was pretty... How do you say it? Self-centric? Is that... I think that's what it was called. Egocentric. That's what I meant. But still, he wasn't that bad of a person. Like, he's, he's not, not the, the worst, worst person. <laughs> no, don't even think to about it. To me, at least. And that's the credits. Bravo, Dave Microwave Games. Bravo, you made an amazing game. All right, enough of this gooey sh show of emotion. All right, everyone, stick it! You really went above and beyond for this game. I wouldn't have expected an amazing game like this from you. Really. It's awesome. Uh, what more is there to say, really? Thank you for playing. Yeah, it was a pleasure playing this game, actually. So, I think that's everything, then. Well, I don't really have much to say. I mean, like I said, I really like this game. I'm glad I was able to finish this, so... Yeah, that's all I got. Oh, and also, if you like this video, then just leave a like, comment, subscribe. See you guys next time. And the Triple G is out.